Okay, so to load a uh, uh, Garmin firmware, especially the one from the Fortex uh, 601 or the 701, uh, you're gonna need an urgent tool that allows you to unpack uh, GCD files. So I'm gonna open this. And you got the bootloader here on the firmware. Um, I didn't try at all to work with the bootloader uh, because there is no string in it, so I don't really care. I'm going to save it in this folder here then I'm gonna fire up um, ADA Pro yep legit version let's open uh, pop, 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 pop. right here this one um, first you need to understand what kind of file it is um, mm -mm, mm -mm. If you go in this, it will not help you at all. Let's. Oops, sorry. Yeah, never mind. It's not V, it's just A. Tell you it's ARM. And if you do open it with Notepad, it's completely dirty to do so, but it works or whatever. Uh, not this one. Maybe I got. Yeah, there is a string called ARM somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Um, the idea here is to open the file. You set it to ARM little engine. Okay, and it's in ARM version seven with no SMD and term 2 yeah, definitely this one. Uh, oh, do I know that? I did do a crash dump of the memory of the GPS and then it, it gave me the the sock, uh, which is some kind of sock with a GPS, RAM, etc. on the same ship. And I know exactly the, the ARM CPU model. Uh, so we should be good to go and obviously uh, it's uh, the ROM not the RAM so you don't need to do anything like that uh, it would tell you oh shit you didn't manage to find a point uh, like it's not that bad uh, you select everything press C analyze and as you can see at the top here it will populate the zones uh, starting from here to here and there is some space that will be dedicated to code and other space to data. Uh, the whole thing is really really slow on this ADA vision so I'm going to pause the video and, and pause it when it's done. Okay so now IDA finished to analyze uh, the whole binary. As you can see there is uh, two areas to, I don't know what to call it dedicated to storing code and here and here on the two parts are dedicated to storing data. Um, there is a lot of you use the space in the um, in the firmware. It's probably to store more data in the next updates. Uh, on this part here, uh, it's dedicated dedicated sorry to storing data to the ballistic system. Uh, the ammo type or the the bullets will uh, um, behave etc. Uh, there is a lot of free space so if you wanted to you could add some code here uh, how to jump to it I have no fucking idea so don't ask me uh, idea I did guess some of the data like uh, you know uh, you, you're gonna have the ammo type here on some data linked to it there is few issue however uh, if you zoom in as you can see here yep let's go to the right there is some code here uh, let's go here. That is definitely not uh, a rim card. It's data, but yeah, no. ADI is ADI. I told it to to guess what it is. It failed. Uh, you need to, you know, define the data type, and if needed, um, press A to you know re re assign the the strings that you found. Anyway, um, but it did a lot of uh, you know most of the job really really easily. Uh, if you zoom out you should be able yeah same here 
Uh, it's always data here. There is definitely no card. Whoops, sorry. Yep. As you can see, yeah, it was card. Uh, there should be a way to uh, automatize the whole thing, but I have no idea how to do so, as I'm not a professional with ID. It's not my job to do this kind of stuff. Uh, here it's definitely not card. Okay, um, or maybe it was, but I don't think. It's a little strange. Anyway, uh, so you get the ID, uh, even if you got the strings, there is no um, cross references in the card to it, so you will have to guess how exactly it's being detected or called. But ADA did a great job of finding the function. Like if you take a look at this one, I mean, look at the graph here. Uh, it's definitely not a, a mistake. I mean, a, a false positive or call it if you want. And that's pretty much everything you need to know.